Hi, <clears throat> excuse me. Today we're going to look at basic exponential functions and uh, secondarily more complicated exponential functions. So some of this video will not apply originally. Um, in fact, the basic exponential is rather simple as you'll see, but uh, when we get to more complicated exponential then it's uh, still on the same video. So, suppose I have y is equal to 3e to the x plus x cubed plus 5. My derivative then, the derivative of the basic exponential is just itself. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The number out front stays, so this becomes 3e to the x plus, using our power rule, 3x squared, the derivative of the constant is just zero. Very simple. Okay, so let's look at a more complicated exponential or some more complicated exponential functions. So as I have y is equal to e to the x sine x, a product. And again, you haven't gotten the product rule yet, so um, you will, have, you know, this will make more sense after we get the product rule, but again, I want to do the, all the exponential here at once. My derivative is e to the x times cosine of x plus sine x e to the x. First times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first. If I have y is equal to e to the x sine x. Similar, but different. In this case, I had to use the product rule. In this case, I have to use the chain rule. This is a composition, not a product. My derivative here is the derivative of the outside function, the exponential times the derivative of the inside, the product, which is first times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first. Derivative of x is just 1. Let's suppose that I want the equation of the tangent line to y is equal to e to the x sine x at x equal pi over 2. Well, for an equation of a tangent line, we need two things. We need one, the point that the line goes through when x equals pi over 2, my y value at pi over 2 would be e to the pi over 2 times the sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is just 1, and so this is e to the pi over 2. I also need the slope which is the derivative at pi over 2. The derivative of at pi over 2 would be, using my derivative rule that I just found, this is going to be e to the pi over 2 times the sine of pi over 2. Times pi over 2 cosine of pi over 2 plus sine of pi over 2, and I should have worked this out a little bit better, but this then comes out to be, as we saw earlier, this is e to the pi over 2, and cosine of pi over 2 is 0, 
So this is zero, sine of pi over two we said is one, and so my derivative is also e to the pi over two, which means that the tangent line would have the form y minus e to the pi over two is equal to e to the pi over two times x minus pi over two. We can also find a the equation of the normal line to the point. The normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line. And so the normal line would be y minus e to the pi over two. The point that we deal with does not change. The only thing that changes is the slope. This is a little bit messy. Equals perpendicular lines, the slope for negative reciprocals. And so it would be negative one over e to the pi over two, which I could have just written as negative e to the negative pi over two, but I want to emphasize What's happening here? Times x minus pi over 2.